In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Previously on Living Free Alaska, we get the green light to move on to our property full time and the next trades arrives on site to start the foundation work of our ultimate Alaskan shop house. Click the link above if you need to catch up. I thought it looked big when there was dirt. Well, now they put a whole bunch of four by eight pieces of foam in there and taped it down with that red tape and it gives it like a grid pattern so you can, you can actually count the foam pieces and so you know that that's a lot of space. And now it got big, holy crap. Now so, I will say you're on wide angle. Oh, so I look cute. So I like, I think I get skinny right now. <laughs> no, the building looks even oh. bigger than it really <laughs> is. But anyway, over here, they also uh, have laid in the, uh, tubing for our in-floor radiant heat um, and it, it's just half inch pecs just your regular standard half, half inch pecs on a you know they use a thousand foot roll or something like that and roll it out and uh, we've established what, nine different zones with this uh, floor plan and, and they're, they're they're doing their magic to give us the radiant heat and that's going to be an amazing source of heat for our house because it's heating from the bottom all the way through the top it'll be yeah and awesome. it's our main source of heat and it's our main source of heat run off of a, off oil fired boilers um but yeah it's it just the way that's laid down they gotta each each it, it just looks like a bunch of squiggly lines but none need none of these lines go over 300 feet long and there's a supply and a return on each each one of these little bundles right here and over there so it, it's kind of a complex setup but uh it's gonna be really nice. Now, just uh, to let you know, this is our two car garage right here. And in Alaska, your garage is a heated space. Must be, you gotta have that car defrosted. Right? Yep. And then right here, in between this wall and all the way around, this is the house. Yeah, the house is from that foundation wall all the way to the edge. And, Everything in here that you see right now is one zone for the main yep. living. Yep. Our master bedroom will be located right here. And, bathroom, bathroom, yeah. and then this is our master bath. And uh, actually it looks as though the house bath is also on our master yeah. zone. And then out in here is all shops, uh, RV and boat. Uh, shop is in the Way back the or actually the front of the building and then right here we're calling this the toy shed toy garage toy garage and gary will have a workshop back in this corner uh where he can have his man cave i don't know if the man cave it just i don't like that term it's just a workshop <laughs> <laughs> it's where I send you just so you can go and tinker. Why do I have one little 20 by 20 place to call my man cave when I have that? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then that, you know. <laughs> right. I don't need a cave. I got a, I got a, I got a lot of places to go play. Well, you know, so you go to a lot of these properties up, up here and you, they, people have their house. And they have an outbuilding here and an outbuilding here and an outbuilding over here and an outbuilding over here. By the time they add up the square footage from all those outbuildings, it's this. We just put everything underneath one roof at one time. We're gonna end up with some outbuildings here and there, like up over there where that, I don't know if you can see the trailer up there by the tree, but I'll have a little lean-to for our other enclosed trailers. Well, and we already and have one outbuilding in the RV parking area. I'll probably have a woodshed over there, and I'll probably have a woodshed down there. So <laughs> <laughs> there'll be outbuildings too, but all the big stuff is gonna be in, in here. 
you know, our motorhome, our boat, our ATVs and snow machines and yard tools and yard tractor and all this and stuff will be in here. Yeah. So, and then our it's important. Our and Elsie will be and in Elsie there. Will be in here. And then our yeah. truck and Jeep we'll be, over here. will be here in the da garage. Daily drivers. Weather's a big deal here, you know, and and it, it's so harsh on anything that sits outside. If you get a chance to put something under a roof, and then it, it, the benefit, uh, an, an additional benefit is if you can put heat underneath it, it's just going to make the equipment, toy, item, whatever it is, last longer. Tool. Tool. Less maintenance, uh, and it's just gonna be a better, a better setup for everybody. So that's what we're doing, trying to make, trying to do it right from the start. Spirit's eating cardboard again. <laughs> Spirit, oh, what are you doing? Nothing, Dad. Just, oh, sorry. I'll come over. Hi. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's progress, and I'm loving it. So. We'll check back in when we get a little bit farther down the road. At the end of August, we had our very first visitors from back home, April and Brad, who came up for a quick weekend visit to see us in our new home. Although we didn't have a whole lot of time to do many things, we jammed in as much as possible in their short two and a half day visit. Our visit consisted of visiting Talkeetna one day, then driving up and over Hatcher's Pass, going to the reindeer farm, and then hitting up the Alaska State Fair for the John Party concert. We tend to not record when we're hanging out with our friends, but here is a little snippet of our second day jam-packed of tourist activities of hanging out in Hatcher's Pass, playing with reindeer, and partying at the Alaska State Fair. What's on the menu? We got Prince William shrimp, jalapeno cheddar moose dogs, and peppers and onions. It's a beautiful day in Hatcher Pass. We're at the very top of the summit on the road here. And Gary's cooking us a lunch. And we're here with our friends from back home, April and Brad. Hey! What do you guys think of Alaska hey. so far? Oh, so amazing. far, it's so amazing. Yes. And these people right here are just about ready to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, I'm scared of So there's some people climbing and they're they're struggling. It is so fantastic. Yes, it is. Oh. Today has been Absolutely. gorgeous. It's epic. And welcome to the 30% club. That's Woo! true. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we made it. All right. We saw it. Well, I think dinner or dinner. Lunch is about done. Can't beat this. Gary, you are a fantastic chef. Hi, right, thank you. I love this impromptu. That's amazing. Isn't it? yeah, <laughs> it's how you do it. Next up, the reindeer farm. This visit to the reindeer farm was actually our first, and it was a great time had by both our friends, but Gary and I as well. Cost was affordable, and the time to take the tour reasonable. I will make sure that whenever any of our family or friends come to visit, this is one attraction we will not miss. Cost to take the one hour tour was $15 for out of state residents and $13 for locals. We did have to book in advance, so if this is something you would like to do, make sure to get your tickets at least 24 hours in advance, if not sooner. The farm is located in the Butte, which is just outside of Palmer in the Matsu Valley. <laughs> How come we want you so much? Once we went through an orientation, we began visiting the stars of the farm. Remember, this is a farm experience, so wear good shoes and appropriate clothing to spend an hour outdoors with the animals. Wow, look at them. We had such a great time visiting the farm, and yes, we even kissed a moose. 
and please don't do this in the wild. These animals are rescue animals and have been around humans since birth. <laughs> I held on a bit long. Next up was the John Party concert at the Alaska State Fair. Great music, great friends, and an amazing sunset to cap off a wonderful day spent with our friends. begin to tell you how nice it was to have our friends come up and visit. That is one of the biggest things we miss about making this big move to Alaska. We miss the friendships we left behind in Washington with our friends and family. We miss our casual Friday night dinner dates, a weekend at the lake, or just having game night at one of their houses. As we build this new life here in Alaska, we hope many of our friends and family will come up once the house is finished and spend some quality time with us here in the last frontier under the midnight sun. Not everyone has to RV to Alaska to enjoy it. In fact, most of Alaska's tourists arrive by plane or cruise ship. And well, that is why we've made the room for those who come up to visit because we can't wait to play host to those who do make the journey. Alaska offers so much to see and do, and well, honestly, I can't wait to play tour guide. It gives us a chance to see and do more activities in our new home state, as well as allows us to review and report on these tours to bring to you, our followers, here on Living Free Alaska. As we said goodbye to our good friends, we can't wait to see who comes up next. Who knows? Maybe it will be you. There you are, April and Brad. You're flying away. I took the focus off. <laughs> there we go. Have a good flight home. We had a blast. Love you. Bye. The day after April and Brad went back to Washington, activity was buzzing around the homestead as the concrete crew was back and they started to pour our slab. It took two days to pour the entire building, but thankfully we got it done when we did because then it poured for days on end. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, why not? We would sure love to have you do so because in next week's video, our lumber package arrives. We will show you how we prepare our RV for the upcoming winter weather headed our way. And in a 10 day time lapse, our ultimate Alaska shop house comes to life. We hope to see you then. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.